talk for a couple minutes about Apios. Apios Americana and Apios Priciana. So this is American groundnut is one name for it. Recently the name hopness has been proposed for it just to avoid confusion with the fact that groundnut in most parts of the world means a peanut. It's not really a nut at all. It's an underground tuber. So the name groundnut is rather erroneous, but that's what most people call it. So this is Apios Americana. I just yanked it up. It's an herbaceous vine. In this case, it happens to be growing up a stalk of giant Solomon seal. Here are its flowers. Yeah, attractive kind of tannish orange color followed by small bean pods. It's a legume. It has a compound leaf. See if I can find a good one here for you. And edible underground tubers. You can eat the beans too. They're actually high in protein, but they're pretty small. Uh, these are pretty dinky examples. They can get considerably bigger than this. Ping pong ball size. They've even been grown up to grapefruit size with some extra cultivation and that was down in Louisiana where they have a much longer growing season but definitely a plant to work with. They get a lot bigger in a wetland situation so we're going to be trying to get them into a better uh, habitat but they might get larger but the, the uh, these tubers are in long strings relatively easy to harvest naturally found on stream sides and so on and the vine clamors up into the thickety vegetation there. So there's a lot of good information on this one, Apios Americana online, and in particular I recommend Samuel Thayer's books, one of the two that he's got out. Nature's Garden or it's called Forger's Harvest, something like that. Excellent. He also mentions that a small percentage of people have an allergic reaction to this, so you might want to check that information out as well. But what I really wanted to talk about was a more unusual plant, Apios priciana, which is an endangered species uh, from, I believe, up in Kentucky, a few sites. This one, instead of making multiple small tubers, makes one tuber that gets bigger and bigger every year. It can get as big as a softball, it can get as big as probably a basketball eventually. For some reason the rodents don't seem to go too much after these apios. I'm not sure what the story there is. This is a beautiful, powerful vine, uh, especially as it starts to get some age. These are probably four or five years old. You can see numerous clusters of flowers here and makes quite a large bean. I'm hoping for a very good harvest this year. So that's apios priciana. It's just right here in my vegetable garden, just average garden conditions. It might also prefer more moisture. Once I, I'm looking forward to getting a big seed crop, raising a lot of seedlings, and trying this plant out in a lot of different garden habitats.